Hello, we are at the 2019 RV show in Tampa, Florida, and here is a brand new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. This is the new 2019 chassis. It's a nice update, new front end, new uh, new appearance to it. But under the hood, there's some familiar things. There's the uh, uh, DEF has been relocated. It's a little bit handier place. This one has the LED headlamps and fog lamps on it. Uh, that's a nice change. Here's another view of the LED headlights. I like that. That's a, a, a really nice upgrade for the lighting. And on the door, you can see a nice little padded armrest. Here are the controls for the power seats. And it's got uh, heated seats. There's a switch for the seat, uh, heated seats and your power door lock and unlock. So let's step on inside and take a look. Okay, here we go. You can see the steering wheel has smart controls for the uh, uh, telephone and the radio and all those features. You can have hands-free telephones. Uh, there's your wipers. Oh, it also has uh, paddle shifters, which is kind of interesting. They're back there. Uh, you can see a little edge of them there. So you can upshift or downshift with your hands on the steering wheel. Here's the radio. This has got a nice big touch screen. This is the GPS right here. You can zoom in and out. And uh, that was really, that's a big change over the uh, Becker. I, I really didn't like the Becker. A lot of people liked it. I didn't like it. So this is a nice little change right here. Actually, it's a nice big change. And you can see the touch screen works really nice. And uh, let's see what else we got. A push button start there for the ignition and some cup holders. It's got two big cup holders and two small cup holders. So you have plenty of space there. That right there is your controller for the fan. You can raise or lower the fan speed. And here's your uh, volume, I mean your um, temperature change. Uh, there we go, some directions for this, the uh, where the air flows and recirculation and stuff like that. And this is pretty neat. Up on the dash there's covered storage. There's a pop-up in the center. It had a couple of USB ports and um, I forget what else in there. And then over to the side here you have another one on that side. Just a pop-up cover and, and a uh, drink holder up on the dash too. Plenty of drink holders. Here's another uh, pop-up covered uh, storage place. And no longer a uh, glove box, just a nice uh, pouch there. LED lighting inside with uh, different buttons there for the turning on the lights and all that features, reading lights and stuff. Uh, drop down sun visors and here's your controls for the radio and the map and stuff like that so there you turned on the got the radio playing and it's got Cirrus XM radio and the touch screen works really pretty good you can just change channels there's your volume up and down and uh, you can change channels just by tapping the screen up there let's say go away where we go but push a button change the channel or change a station, not a channel. Well, it depends if you're an XM or not. So that's pretty nice. And the radio sounded really good too. And here's a view of the frame. You can see the uh, frame rails. And it goes, uh, got a view. There we go. That's the sway bar. That's how the sway bar connects in the back. So if you ever want to swap it out, there you can see it's two bolts on that side, a bolt on the top, and then and on the other side, two bolts, and then a bolt on the top. And there's the frame rail without a body on it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and my little rambling on. Take care. Bye.